Hello, welcome back, whatever. Here's how to make a completely free shimmer reverb using Cardinal for free modular BST. So you can hear it there on a wavetable pad. You can download the patch for that. There's a link in the description and you can also download the shimmer reverb. But if you want to know how this works, stick around and I'll make it again from scratch. So if I go to my guitar track here, so here's the patch. What I'm gonna do is just delete all this just so we can start again from scratch. So I've just basically got basic guitar sound here. There we go, and I'm using this mixer so I can run it as a send effect, and just have a kind of wet dry balance. So we need three things to make a shimmer reverb. You probably know it's um, just a pitch shifter and a feedback loop of a reverb. And I've already done a video on using feedback, uh, but I forgot to include shimmer. So I thought I'd do a separate video on this. So it's fairly easy. Pitch shifting is a bit of a problem, to be honest. I don't think there's a really good pitch shifter in Cardinal, but we can use this module called Texture Synthesizer, which is basically a software version of Clouds, really famous kind of Eurorack modular hardware module. So if we just listen to this on its own, we just patch this in to the first send effect. And turn that up, that's up already. So you can hear that doesn't do anything until we increase the density. And it's kind of a granular delay basically, but it does have a pitch shift function as well. So if I set that to one, right click and enter the value, that's gonna be an octave up. So you can hear that. Um, this button here flicks through the mode. So this one is basically stereo. That gives it a stereo shift. And then you've got feedback, we'll add a touch of that. And then you've got reverb built in, so why not add some extra reverb in there as well. So that's the part that does the pitch shift. For reverb, I'm going to use the Surge XT one, um, Reverb 2. Surge XT is really good free synth, and all the components are available as individual modules in Cardinal. So if I patch this into the reverb instead, you hear what this sounds like. Okay, so I'm just going to select a ambience preset, give it a bit more decay, a tiny bit more width, a tiny bit of modulation as well. So on its own, that's not an amazing reverb to be honest. But what I'm going to do next is add a mixer and then feed it back through the pitch shifting on clouds. So I'm going to use this one here because it's stereo. It's also got built an EQ, which is quite handy. So I'll just patch the um, aux send into the mixer input and then the return back from the mixer output. No, I don't. I want that from the reverb. Now I need to turn up this channel. I need to patch the outputs into the reverb input as well. As soon as I hit record, I forget what I'm doing completely. There you go. So there's our reverb with um, control via the, the wet dry balance from the aux send, which I've got up full at the moment. And the next thing to do is take an extra output from the reverb into clouds for pitch shifting. And then we'll take the output from clouds back into a spare channel on this mixer. So when we turn this up, you can hear a subtle effect there where it's kind of building in the background. But to be honest, there's not quite enough gain. So what I'll do next is patch a compressor in and I'm going to use some quite aggressive settings on here on the return on the pitch shifting just to boost the volume and get a bit more feedback going through. So I'm going to turn the ratio right up, threshold right down, and then give it some output gain, about 9 dB, quite a lot. 
and you can hear that feeding back much more already. And the next step is to increase the size as well. And there's a shimmer effect. There's a slight high frequency, high frequency ringing, so I'll turn down the treble on there and put the size right up to maximum. So that's kind of okay already, but just to smooth it out even more, what I'm going to do next is just add a second reverb. So normally I like to use plateau, but I found this was kind of feeding back too much. So I'm just going to take the return from the reverb into there, just to add some extra reverb without that being in the feedback loop. And I'm going to turn the size up on there as well. Now if we want even more reverb, we can turn up the wet dry balance on Valley as well. And inevitably, I've played a wrong note while the camera is rolling. There you go, that's how to make a shimmer reverb in Cardinal. Uh, if you can't be bothered, just download the patch, download Cardinal, and you can just load this up for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.